this afternoon, side by side here. It's 36, the Alpine versus the number two caddy, El Bamba, properly getting stuck in, and he's has to, he has to jink out to the outside because of the GT car on the inside, and that caused this situation. Wow, El Bamba in the barriers and with damage. Now, as he turns around, we're going to find out what I wanted to know, which is what's up with the left front. We can see the right front was OK. That's the end of their race. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's gone from bad to worse. And look, it was that little jink out from the Alpine and a reaction from Bamba. I don't think he... There was nothing he could really do there on the marbles. Let's watch again. So he, he goes to the inside. The GT's inside there on, on the line. And he makes that smooch onto the marbles. Look how slippery he is, what I was talking about earlier on. And bang. Race yeah. over. Yeah, he it's was as just simple as that. Absolutely a passenger there, wasn't he? There's no yeah. point trying to bring it back. This is going to be like Jose Maria Lopez in the Toyota in Sebring, isn't it? It's going to cause can't so much see. damage. He can't see now. The car is disassembling itself. Don't forget there are yellow flags out down here as well because there is a damaged car and he goes straight off. I think we're on for a safety car. You can just wait behind, sorry. We started, all we started. He just ran me up by. It was that jink out of position, wasn't it, from uh, from Mick Schumacher, who was fighting car 36 Alpine. He had the traffic in front of him, and Mick's just gone to the left-hand side to go around the outside. It was uh, a calamity. And, and the irony now is that actually the stranded Corvette has just got going, so we sort of avoided a safety car, except now with the damage to the to the caddy, is he, is he still going to drag it back? He is, he's almost there, isn't he? This, he's he's taking this back on pure rage, isn't he? he Absolute does. anger to get it back to the pit lane. It does feel a little bit like that, yeah. I mean, it, I, I, I don't really see what else Bamba could have done apart from anticipate the fact that Schumacher was going to dart out with that GT in front. It's part and parcel of endurance racing and also at the end of the race, half an hour remaining, the build-up of marbles, I mentioned it earlier on, I know that corner well. If you veer offline too much, it is like ice out there. Be advised, we have a slow car in the pit entry road. We have a slow car in the pit entry road. Well, what a tough end to what was a really promising race for Cadillac. Contact when battling for a podium, having led early on, caused a puncture. Now Albamba forced to chink out to avoid contact with Mick Schumacher's Alpine onto the dirt. Very high speed part of the circuit, Anthony. That sweeping double right hander, turn four and five, and just flung off into the barriers. Absolute passenger at that stage.